past five. to all and welcome to First Shots 5. Before we proceed, I am Ganga and I am the Marketing Director of First Shots as well as your host for today. Now, Before we begin and we advance on to our main event, our highly anticipated film screening event, let me walk you through our physical booth located right here right outside Republic Polytechnic's E2 building. This setup right here was an initiative from the Diploma of the Arts and Theatre Management who managed to create Four shots ambitious into a route. Now, we shall show you our 360 view. This right here is a collaboration from the DATM department to help support and grow first shots ambitious into a route. However, this this isn't the attention that we want to get. The one, the attention we want to pull it to is this. Our iconic spaceman riding on a skateboard. Designed and originally digitally created by one and only graphic designer in this year's first shots by Africa. This iconic design is the only landmark that has created a presence in the whole of first shots career. Now that we've completed our walkthrough, it is finally time for our highlighted event, our film screening event. This year, out of the 132 films selected, 14 were of individual works, two of which were made by groups of four. Now, I shall pass my time to our reporters, Martin and Rachel, who will cover the interview segment of this year's event. Hey, Martin. Hi, Ganga. Thank you so much for the walkthrough our set. No problem, Martin. Say, Martin, are you curious to watch and learn more about each film? Mm, yes, I am indeed. Um, from the snippets that I've seen of the different films from the official trailer, I'm indeed very curious to learn more about the, uh, the different plots and also the visions that the filmmakers have uh, that they incorporated in their films. Yeah. Um, say, Ganga, how do you feel about this year's first shots being a live stream event as well as the entrance of E2 being packed up with all the new first shots 5 branding? Hmm, actually I feel very proud of our team for finding alternative solutions to keep first shots up and running for the fifth year in a row and to not only showcase our raw first works made by year ones this year but also a full work film by a student from X3 and a submission made by an RP lecturer in this year's open category. I think the expensive range of film submissions is what makes this year's uh, theme of Rise Above even more efficient. Hmm, yes I definitely agree. Now, this year's set design is surely impressive thanks to the helping hands of the DATM students from the Stagecraft module and the lecturer, Mr. Tomin Chuan. With that side, I'll now take it from here to continue with the interview segments with the different filmmakers. Hey Nadra, thank you so much for making it down for today's interview session and we are so happy that your film Who Am I is part of this year's First Shots. What was your vision and message for your film? Um, I think the main vision that I had for my film was to mainly express the themes that were in the poem, but in my own perspective. So I really hope that like, when the audience watch my film, they can understand where I'm coming from and the vibe that I tried to deliver. Yeah. What was your most enjoyable moment slash memory throughout making your whole entire poetry film? I think the best part of the whole process was that I was able to learn a new skill since it's my first time animating and that I was able to work at my own pace, which I really enjoyed, so yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with me your insights about your poetry film journey and without further ado, it's Who Am I by Nadra Amelia.
Always the same route over and over again. We are always doing the same thing. Can you imagine repeating the same thing every day? Tired, really tired, but no choice, lah. Got to, you know. Under the rain, also no way, no way out, no shelter, no anything. Just keep walking. I want someone to listen to me, but no one notice my present. Staying quiet, forever alone, I can only comfort myself. Sometimes I think about my family, then start the day again. They are my motivation. Uh, bomb affair, but sometimes I really can't help but no no to set a tear. I see people. I also hold no no hope. They won't understand. Nowadays, young people all internet. They see what's on top. They follow. I know because I am a scarecrow in the foreign land. Hi, Azik. Hello. Hi. The First Shots Committee really, really enjoyed your film and we felt like it really embodied the um, theme for this year. So, um, how does it feel like for you to um, have produced the film individually? Um, it was quite tough, especially because it was meant to be a team work and then later got changed to individual work. And because my film is an uh, animation, so it's especially hard for me. Yep. And then, um, how like do you mind like telling me the synopsis of your film? So basically, the main character uh, wears a mask and goes onto stage in the hopes to entertain the audience, but then he makes a fool of himself, and the audience laughs at him. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless. Uh, the mask makes him look like he's still smiling, and then he goes through his own mind and realizes that he doesn't need the mask because it is uh, damaging his image yeah. or his personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing with us about the insights on your um, poetry film journey. And without further ado, this is The Mask by Hazik Anaki. Which road should I take? Is it left or right? Others see straight paths, yet my vision, twisted knots. Intention unclear, confusion a maze, destination blurred, lake water, wearing clothes, a stranger, 
a smile costly fabricated, paid by applause. Every wink of these lips, unfamiliar thoughts. Dancing in the crowd, playing somebody, a role behind the curtain, a lost soul. Approval from others, chained by validation, a slave for attention. My own judgment, a prison. When will I be me? Shall I forever be a liar to myself, an imposter of my own shadow?